How's it going guys? Chris here with Four Star Ninja Academy. I'm going to be demoing the adult course for our upcoming peanut competition on February 23rd. 3rd. 4th. 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 One of those days. Alright, let's start out for one. Clear. 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 Now clear. clear. Straps are in play. Straps are in play? Yeah. Oh, snap. Didn't know that. <laughs> Clear. Time. Hey everybody, Dustin Jelmson here. I'm going over the rules for 13U Adults and Top Flight FINA Endurance Course uh, that Coach Chris just demoed for you guys. So, starting off, there's 12 obstacles. You're starting off right here on this orange pad. That is your point A for obstacle one. You're allowed to use all three of these rings. No straps. This trapeze bar. And for 13U and Adults, you are allowed to use this trapeze bar as well for top flight. This trapeze bar will be removed. You will be dismounting from this trapeze bar to your point B. Your point B turns into point A for obstacle two. You're allowed the A-frame, yoke ball, your quad steps, A-frame, yoke ball, no tires. The tires, the rubber is off limits, so just the yoke ball's on top to make our way to point B, and then this is your point A for obstacle three. Obstacle three, starting off, you're allowed to use this candy cane. No hands on the blue uh, cross beam up here. So candy cane across, ring, candy cane, ring, grab bars. There's one here, and there's one on the reverse side to get to your point B, okay? So the one change on this will be for top flight. Top flight will not have this cane, and they will have a chuck here and a chuck here. You're still allowed to use the grab bars to make your way over to here. So that is the change for top flight. On to obstacle four. Starting off on this double stacked orange pad. We got the five by fives, five foot, five laches to our point B. So all those lache bars are in play. This is your point B, and then turns into point A for your next obstacle. This is obstacle five. You're allowed to use all three of these rings. Notice how low they are, so you have to keep your feet up 
Do not touch the blue pads on these. And you will be swinging to your point B and then point A for your balance obstacle. Now, one thing to note for point A or for the balance, your point A is here, your point B is right here. You are not allowed to jump across. You would be failed on that obstacle. You have to do the obstacle as intended, and that means making our way to the warp wall. You have your two grab bars here, silver part only, no wood bases on the grab bars. So bar, the PVC pipe, this bar, to get our way through the warp wall. And then you will be white knobs only on the way back. So the wood plank is off limits, but the white knobs are in play, okay? And then for 13 you and adults, you'll have this BOSU ball here to make it to your point B for top flight. This will be coming out. This, you'll have a little bit more of a jump to that first knob and a little bit more of a dismount from the last knob onto here. All right, next obstacle, our doorknobs. So 13 you and adults will have the rings only. You're only allowed to use the rings to make your way across the doorknobs. All right, no hands on the doorknobs themselves. For top flight, you will have two pegs in those doorknobs and you will have to use the pegs to make your way across to your point B. Yeah, on to our next obstacle. So this is your point A. We have two croto rings. All right, well, any part of the croto rings are in place. So you can use the middle, middle post there. You can use any part of the black ring, just no straps. You can shank across, dismounting to your point B. And then this becomes point A for R. This is obstacle nine. Mm. On to, you got this mail slot right here to make it away over to the trapeze bar. No post, it's in, the post is not in play. So use that trap, or the mail slot. You are welcome to jump out to the trapeze bar. So the trapeze bar, the space invader, any part of the space invader is in play, just no straps, okay? So if you grab up on top and you're on those straps, that would be a fail. Arms, feet, mouth, eyeball, however you wanna grab that. This is your point B for obstacle nine, for the Space Invader. So contact with the bullseye will give you your point for the Space Invader obstacle, all right? This will transition, becomes point A into obstacle 10 uh, the, with the unstable bridge. If you happen to fail the lache on the Space Invader, we will have a box off to the side here. We'll pull that box up so you're allowed to get up onto this bullseye to begin your 10th obstacle, okay? Um, the straps are in play, all right? So you can use the straps for top flight as well. So you can use those straps as you saw Chris do in the demo. Um, so go ahead and grab onto those straps. Use those straps however you need um, to get yourself onto the bullseye. From there, you're allowed to use 13 new and, and adults are allowed to use the uh, dog bowl to make your way to the unstable bridge. Unstable bridge, it's the orange cliffhangers only, okay? So you're not allowed to use any part of the wood on the unstable bridge, just those cliffhangers. Top flight will not have this dog bowl here. So you will have to go right from the bullseye to the cliffhangers on the unstable bridge. All right, on to Obstacle 11, that rope right there will be stuck inside this pad right here. Um, so you can grab that rope. We're gonna swing out. This is your point B for obstacle 11 on this orange pad, all right? Uh, when you make contact with this orange pad, you'll get that point. From there, this is your point A. Point B will be getting up on top of the wall. That's obstacle 12. There'll be a tape marker on top of the 10 foot warp wall here. You'll hit that buzzer and uh, that will finish your run. For top flight, however, you will be going up on top of the 10 and then cutting over, you're gonna be going up the 14-6 wall to the bell. So top flight will be going all the way up to the bell, hit the bell, that will end your run. All right, so there's a four minute time limit, 12 obstacles in this course. Good luck everybody, we will see you on the 24th.